Hello, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies. We're gonna try for a collective read to de We're gonna try for a collective read today to see if we get any different narratives. If that divorce narrative peaks again, I'm gonna scrap that and we're gonna make this kind of a funny pick a card video, which I'm kind of like, am I even ready to go here? I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, but we're gonna try it. Also, before we get into the read, I'm gonna do like a little taste test. I was at Whole Foods earlier today because I usually get like kombucha and some of my produce from there. But I wanted to try some different drinks and I also got some supplements to try out. So we're gonna be trying strawberry vanilla Olipop. I don't know, prebiotics, botanicals, plant fiber and only three grams of sugar. Oh, it's for my microbiome. I feel like people just say that for marketing. It's for your microbiome, okay. I don't know about this. Your creamiest, fruitiest strawberry sundae meets bubbly soda. Okay, we're gonna try this. I find this revolting, this Olipop stuff disgusting. I'm going to stick with my kombucha. All right, whatever. So let's start off the read. I'm going to be pulling oracles first. We're going to do angel answers and I'm going to clarify with this little deck right here. No cats have selected any cards or decks for us today. That was yesterday. Ugh. That soda's not good. I should have known. Never trust odd hippie sodas from Whole Foods. And I was like, let me, like, what the heck is in this? And it was like 200 milligrams of caffeine. Anything fun at the bottom of the deck? Oh, we have a strong yes. And I told you, a strong yes. <laughs> I think there was like, no, it was under here. It was like, yes, yes, no. Um, and then it said, it's up to you. So there might be like, like, yes, yes, no, look for a sign. It might be that you have some options for something coming in. I'm not sure for what, but you might have like a few things that you need to make a decision on and you're going to need to evaluate what is best for you, what you enjoy. Uh-oh, one of these flipped over clarifier. The Three of Swords on our first Oracle that I don't know what it is yet. Okay, so we're doing yes on yes on these. All right, so this last one, I don't know what the middle one is, but the last one is clarified by the Lovers. We got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I don't know about this energy. That might be our no, <laughs> not our yes. So what is this? You're ready. Okay, so look. Whatever this is, this might not be like breakup stuff. This could be like heart. So it might be trauma, maybe past trauma that you have taken some time to deal with. It could be past relationship stuff, could be past familial stuff. Whatever this is, because it could be a mental health issue as well. Whatever you have been through, I don't care what it is. It like, this is gonna be like a struggle, something painful that you had to contend with. If in your mind you're thinking that whatever it is, like this is like going to hold you back or you can't do something because of this thing, you're wrong, you're ready, it's fine. Everybody is moving through the world with some sort of struggle, with some sort of issue. And if we weren't, then nobody would be doing anything. So you are ready. Um, and if you're someone who's done a lot of work on themselves, like you're ready to come out of that likely. I mean, discuss it with like your team and everything, but probably you're ready. So what's in the middle here? Oh, we have forgiveness. I'm going with self-forgiveness right now. Let me see this. Knight of Wands. It could be forgiveness for like flaky people, like maybe friends, like immature friends could be people who are immature in relationships that could be family members as well. I would say like, yeah, like release it, forgive it, like likely where they were, they didn't know what they were doing and likely you didn't know enough at the time where you were to not allow the behavior to be going on to sort of have 
um, a good idea of what this kind of flaky, flighty behavior looks like. So you can just bow out of it really quickly. Um, and oddly, like I see this knight going towards this three of swords. This could also be abandonment stuff. If anybody abandoned you, it's likely you are ready to release that officially. Um, and I would also say, yes, forgive yourself because we have the Knight of Wands running towards this Three of Swords. If at any time you were a person who maybe fostered that sort of toxic behavior, who sort of ran right into it, whatever it was, you knew what you knew at the time, right? And now you know more. And so it's no use berating yourself for whatever went on in your past that you are accountable for. Like it is okay for you to release that and forgive yourself. Sometimes I think we have a tendency to want to hang on to that stuff in ourselves almost because I think we can like get into a mentality of if I release it, if I let it go, then I'm gonna repeat it again. Like I'm not like I have to keep like remembering this and, and like going over it and hitting myself over the head with it because if I let it go, then I'm just gonna do it again. And that's not the case. You can just, you can just let it go. So what is our last one? No need to worry with the lovers. And so right now, until I see the tarot cards come out, this is likely something with relationships or people in general. There's no need to worry. Going forward, you are going to have a much better idea of the sorts of people that you would like to welcome into your life as work colleagues, creative partners, friends, and yes, even romantic partners if you are open to that. And if you are already in a romantic relationship, you will likely be able to negotiate that long-term relationship or that marriage a lot better. I would also say if you are in a long-term partnership or a marriage where there is some sort of painful history there, it's really important for us to work through that stuff and let it go. I mean, obviously you don't want your partner to be like repeating stuff, but you don't want to hold something over somebody's head forever. Like that's not, that's not a great way to be in a relationship. Like if y'all have actually worked through it, if like people have actually changed, we do have to let it go to move forward together. Oh yeah, look, this last one just flipped out. It looks like you've got some incoming energy, some incoming happy energy. Maybe after a long period of rest and contemplation of thinking things over of processing so let's see you're like you're right like it is likely you are ready to get out onto the social scene if you haven't in a long time also you're ready to start entertaining other people okay i got something with the phone on this one this time sometimes the little chalices and the fish reminds me of being on a phone or looking at something on your phone. Someone could be contacting you online, it's possible. Forgive me, yeah, like this, so this three of wands, we are moving forward the past, like this person has their back to the past. And this is this forgiveness and knight of wands thing. Like you've learned stuff from, you know, the wands that these knights have left behind or for the wands that you picked up and carried forward. Like I've learned all of that, that is in the past, now we're going forward. We're leaving that where it is. I'm gonna tell a story really quick. I like this one. It's about two monks and these two monks were traveling together on foot to their monastery, right? And these monks had sworn a vow, these two male monks. They had sworn a vow, like they aren't supposed to talk or interact with or touch women, period and they have to cross a river in order to get to their monastery. And as they come to the bank of the river, there is a woman there and she cannot cross the river by herself. And so she asks one of the monks if he will take her across the river. And the monk picks her up and takes her across the river and the other monk crosses with them. He puts her down once they get to the other side 
and then they'd go their separate ways. And so as the two monks are walking together the rest of the way to the monastery, the other monk, the one who did not pick up the women, is just like seething, right? He's getting angrier and angrier and angrier. And then all of a sudden he just blows up like at his comrade and like just starts berating him for interacting with and obviously touching a woman. Like, why would you do that? Like, you just violated blah, blah, blah. And he starts going on and on and on. And the other monk says something to the effect of, you know, I put that woman down once we cross the river. You are still carrying her. Is very wise. So anyway, no need to worry and the lovers. It's likely like, I mean, you're gonna be entertaining offers. We had that yes, yes, no, that's even three. Three offers here. Three incoming offers from people maybe wanting to be friends, be more than friends, something like that. I wish y'all could see this. Hold on, let me see if I can, like how this fell out. It's like standing on its side just upright and I was gonna be like I don't know about that and now there's like three of them there for this you're ready thing so we're gonna take them you're ready yes okay so yeah this three of swords you have done enough soul searching enough thinking enough being on your own about whatever past interactions have been especially painful either you were doing this to other people or other people were doing this to you maybe a little bit of both right but you are now ready to enter into healthy relationships with others all right this knight of wands and forgiveness This king of swords, yeah, this is just like, you know what you're doing. King of swords, like you're, what? like you know, like you know. This is a very simple read. You're good. What's this ace of wands? Yeah, these are incoming offers from people. Maybe a king of pentacles, I don't know. So I'm gonna put all of this to the side, except for no need to worry, the lovers and this ace of wands, knight of cups, because let's expand on that one a little before maybe we go to best advice and outcome to see if we can get anything about maybe these options that you're going to be entertaining, the nature of them, if we can get a realm, because this still doesn't necessarily have to be relationships, though it does seem to be skewing that way. Okay, oh, Queen of Swords, again, like you're gonna know. You're gonna know who's silly and who's not. Like, yeah, you know. You know, you know. You know. All right, what do we got here? Oh, oh. <sighs> this is interesting. So I think like armed with your new knowledge, right? The wheel is turning for you in your life. Positively likely, though I'm looking at this last card, I just think you are maybe going to have a bit more than you likely figured you were going to be contending with maybe like maybe you thought like oh like maybe like two or three people will like me and it's like no it's like six or seven people who like want to be in your space interesting yeah i think you're gonna have a lot of people Maybe fighting over you. Yeah, like on the social scene, man. You're going to have like a bunch of people interested. A lot of energy coming your way. A lot of people that are unfortunately maybe going to feel left out once you entertain your main option, which is going to be like this emperor, right? Someone who's healed. Like, yeah. You'll have a main option. And that emperor, just because that was a male on the card, if you were a man watching this, like just, it's the empress, okay? You're going to have like a main and you're gonna wanna give all of your time and attention to them. I'm clarifying these, hold on. 
because I think I have the right of this, but I just want to make sure. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. This is um, pot potentially a little bit of maybe some other energies that we've had in past readings. And I was wondering kind of what happened to those energies. And we might have them here. Yeah. This is really sweet. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I just like, I wanted to be sure. Okay, what we have here, among the people who are interested in you, I don't know if this is your main or not, but this car, these cards are talking about this particular person. We have a particular person here. I don't believe this is a past person. However, do you remember how we had that Knight of Wands on forgiveness and we need to let some things go? This particular energy, because I have here the, in the main cards, not the clarifiers, I have the Hierophant, right in the middle here is our Knight of Wands, and then we have the Eight of Cups. It is likely in the people who are giving you attention, you are going to be dealing with someone who in their past, you know, was in this, like the worst sort of the Knight of Wands, right? This sort of devil energy. However, this person does not behave this way anymore. This person is now the Hierophant. They're very, very structured. They're likely fairly traditional because they have self-reflected on this particular behavior that they used to embody and they decided you know i don't really want to be this way anymore this is not the type of person i want to be this sort of more structured responsible person is who i want to be so clarifying this knight of wands is this person got their strength together to elevate from the knight of wands to the king of wands okay and with this eight of cups they left this Knight of Wands behavior behind. The Knight of Wands is headed towards the Hierophant. So they have left this lifestyle and it took a lot of hard work for them, but they were willing to do this work. And here's my question about this. They were willing to do this work specifically for this Queen of Pentacles, which is now making me wonder, because I said, this is not a past person but I'm going to look at this King of Wands, this hard work, and this Queen of Pentacles, who I'm just like, in order, if this person did this specifically for another person, I'm curious if this is a past person, someone who maybe knows this Queen of Pentacles in passing, or if they just did this because there was a type of relationship they wanted to be in, which is with this Queen of Pentacles energy, and they knew if they wanted that type, they were not going to be able to behave like the worst aspects of the Knight of Wands in devil energy. So let's see, clarifying this King of Wands. Yeah, someone who's self-reflected, the hermit. So this is someone, someone who's changed things significantly for themselves. I don't know, I didn't, that's the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom, um, if I didn't hold that up well enough. One more for this King of Wands, please. So this does not seem to be someone who is very feckless. Ah. Ah, uh, aw, this is so cute. This person's done all this self-reflecting work because they wanna come in with this little, this is like a little um, genteel chivalrous, chivalrous page. 
for this relationship offer because they're looking for a really, really stable sort of happiness, maybe some sort of family life. And yes, they would be able to most definitely create that with the Queen of Pentacles. That's a very stable energy. So let's see this Ten of Wands. What work did they do or are they doing? Oh, a lot of um, a meditation practice. This is, again, self-reflection work. A timeout, like maybe a four-year timeout from the type of lifestyle that they used to lead. This might be isolation. And this could even be with that hierophant entering into some sort of spiritual or even religious practice to help them with that structure. And they have done a good job creating boundaries and discernment with maybe like past behaviors or past people. Like they're not allowing these old habits or this old social crew to, like that's coming in as like maybe text messages to me. People hitting them up and saying like, hey, where are you? Like, come out here. And this person is just like, nope. I know what's good for me. I know what I want going forward. I know the type of person I want to be and it's not with these people. Yeah, because they know if they, they have to block that stuff out, if they want to be able to offer this sort of love and energy to an empress, like an empress isn't going to deal with the knight of wands in devil energy, okay? Um, and I would say like, well, we had the emperor at the bottom of the deck. The empress is not really even going to deal with the king of wands, but, um, the king of wands can deal with the queen of pentacles in a specific sort of energy. So we're not really dealing with a, like a full blown empress here on the table, but not saying that they couldn't be. Both of them might do that together. They might start off as the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles and then become the Emperor and the Empress together. Oh, okay, we've got this Queen of Pentacles in grief in the Five of Cups. So that would be that like forgiveness work, right? With past Knight of Wands energy. Yeah, forgiveness, because we now have the Queen of Cups under here as well. So this is also her looking into this chalice. Also someone who has self-reflected, seeing how they contributed to situations, and also has compassion for the people involved, judgment under the deck. Compassion for people involved, and yes, forgiveness. And the wheel is changing for her. Likely no more of that grief work. And here comes the Knight of Cups underneath the deck. Here comes this offer and with it, uncertainty. Uncertainty, I don't know about this. I've cried over people before, people like you, but I'm gonna power through. Then we have this tower. It looks like uh, it's not a bad tower. It's just that likely some like unexpected stuff. Unexpected stuff, like people surprising you. Because I was seeing beyond that tower was like the sun. So, good tower. Ah, and then we have the king of cups. So the wheel of fortune is bringing in like this king of wands is likely also a king of cups to the queen of cups aspect of this queen of pentacles. Or this is who she's hoping for, a match. Someone who is a match. Um, so let's see what next steps or outcome is going to look like for these two. Depending on what these cards looks like. It's either gonna be advice or next steps outcome. Potential outcome. 
So this is our reformed person with a past coming in and hoping that you do not touch them for their past, hoping that they can prove to you that they are not for the streets. <laughs> Okay, all under the deck is the Six of Cups. Ooh. No, you're all right. You're all right. It's like the, that cycle of heartache is coming to a close. Yeah, the outcome or best advice, okay? Whatever is going on here with your social situation or these people who are coming in, you are going to be able to build a solid foundation with these people. And how do you tell who these people are? You're going to have a good flow with them, energetically, materially, conversationally. Like these are gonna be people that there is, you know, the appropriate give and take with. And it's going to lead to a lot of happiness in your life. So, where is it? No need to worry. You're ready. Um, is there any action steps for y'all to take? Action steps, anything y'all need to do? This person is going to be whoop, this person is going to be making the first move with the page of pentacles this page of pentacles is an appropriate offer for the situation it's not likely you know this person very well if you have already they're already somehow in your material space and this is like very solid first date sort of energy if that's the nature of the relationship and the thing is, what is behind this page of pentacles is someone who has done and is willing to do a lot of work to have this relationship, all right? Like they're going to be doing a lot of planning. They're going to be making a lot of magic happen behind the scenes that you're not necessarily seeing with this initial offer that they're doing. But this is a very discerning person. And so they're going to be, obviously, like probably this person has dated other people, but they're not just going to like bring anyone, just anyone into the sort of life and relationship that they want. So they will be judging if you are a good partner or not. Um, But I get a lot of happiness behind this judgment. And what, who is sending this page of pentacles? Well, of course it is the king of pentacles. The page of pentacles is the king of pentacles herald, one of his heralds. Um, so it's appropriate that the page is there representing him at this point. And he is in very good, or they are in very good energy. I think they're going to be very happy with what they see from y'all. Um, which, which this is also nice energy, the Fool with the King of Pentacles, because sometimes um, the King of Pentacles can read as maybe a little bit too self-serious with like the money, the material, the finances. Sometimes he goes hedonistic and I don't get any of that with him. Like this is a serious person, but this is also a person who knows how to lighten up and have a good time. So. That's all that little page of pentacles, right? When this page of pentacles comes in, you are going to be dealing with uncertainty. Of course, that's going to be with any person or relationship that we enter into. When the uncertainty shows up, you're being asked to lean into it wholeheartedly. Embrace this because like that was clarifying the sun. If you do, you are likely going to be very, very happy with the result. And for what I will say with this person who is coming in, like a sign, right? 
This is someone, and like I say, with most of this stuff, especially if you are dealing with a man, okay? This person, you are not going to have any questions about what something is. You are likely not going to have to ask a question defining the nature of the relationship. This person is just going to tell you. They are going to ask you out on dates. If they like you, they are going to continue to ask you out on dates. And then once they have enough data accumulated about you through these dates, they are going to say, hey, I would like to make this an official exclusive relationship. Can we talk about that? It is going to be that direct, okay? And I would, I would say borderline, like even though this person knows how to have a good time, we did see the King of Swords pop up and I was getting that as y'all knowing what to do, but I would say that this person is a serious person. They're going to be serious about this 10 of cups relationship and who they are creating it with. So when it comes to setting the terms of the relationship, that might come across a little bit like business-like to you, but it's to make sure you both know what you are getting into and if you want to say yes to that with them. So this is someone who also at that time will tell you whether or not they are open to marriage or not. Like they might tell you, hey, you know, I'm very, very open to long-term monogamy for however long that's going to take us, but I'm not, I don't really want to deal with a legal marriage. Or they will say they're open to both, but they want to do like long-term monogamy first and they'll probably put a time cap on it. And if they like, they're just going to put a time cap on it. It's like, let's see how things look in a year. Like, is that acceptable to you? Or they'll straight up tell you like, I am dating for marriage. Like I have the intention to marry um, with this dating and with this exclusivity. Like that's what I have in mind. So, and I would tell you that the process for this, like the process for getting to the exclusivity thing is going to be three months or less. And then the process for if this person is open to actual marriage, that is going to be a year or less. And that's just it. Like this person knows what they want and they're like, go, if, like if you don't want it, they are going to keep moving on until they get to what they want. So just like be ready for that. But you will not get to that unless you, you know, go out on a date with this person and have some fun. So don't let your past hold you back. Lean into the uncertainty. Not everybody is a great big jerk. And some people who were a great big jerks still not getting this as a past person. This is not someone who was ever a great big jerk to you. Who they might have some qualities that kind of ding, ding, ding. Like, oh, I've dealt with like people like this before. That is the thing that's going to put you into the uncertainty. As long as this person is being direct with you and they will also be open with you about their past and probably like if this is a religious person, they're like literally going to give you like a testimony and some crap, I swear. Um, so just be ready for that. They're going to be very honest and direct about everything they did, used to be, used to do, because they're not going to be hiding anything from you. This is someone who has done capital T, capital W, the work trademark, okay? So that's how you will know. Have an awesome week.